can't keep the future down. As you can say, 20 years ago, <laughs> which means we've been there 40 times. <laughs> Could that be? Yeah. It's been a long time. We met Beth and, and, and Randy, and they, they came to Merle Fest when they were going to do a festival, you know, check it out. Times to 80, oh, 80, 100, <laughs> 80, 180, 180. Well, let me count them. Yeah, wait. So the there was that one. There was the one where we played guitar. Forgot, forgot his guitar. No. Yeah, I mean, there were so many. I mean, if we really were there 40 three, times. Three or four times. If we were really there 40 times, we played a couple times at each one. We have always done the finale on Sunday. We've always done that. So that's, you know, that's about 80. That's a plenty. It's about 80. You know, it's it's interesting to think about, you know, in a, in a world that's always looking for, like, a new something to do or a new, you know. And then I was just thinking about it. Is, is this, as far as an experience, like, to repeatedly have such a fantastic experience somewhere is really, yeah. it's, it's quite a gift yeah. and a joy, you know. Because like a lot of art, you know, like if, if you get together and you have a play or you make a movie or whatever, like it just happens one time, then everybody splits. But music, like you get to come back around and it always changes a little bit, but and then it holds similarities too. So there's something that's like an artistic collaboration about that part, the setup and, and the way, um, just the vibe that got launched by Beth and Randy a long time ago and that continuity. Yeah, and the and site, it's, the it's, site itself is, has a wonderful spirit, you know, vibe. So it's so. just cool to be able to, you know, there's certain festivals where you can count on the fact that it's just going to be this essential experience. It's grand for the giving. Audience, musicians, it just feel it feels like a big, I keep saying family, but it sort of feels like that, you know, and um, it's not just like the sort of a family, the artists, you know, the artists that play it a whole lot kind of have a, a kind of a really sweet bond that kind of comes from there and happens there and, and that, you know, spreads out to the audience and the audience is very familiar every year, you know, it's just one big happy, swanee, you know, family reunion or something. Seems like, it seems like. Hey, isn't it being, it's being called? Is Spring it, Reunion. Spring Reunion, hey. How yeah. apropos. How, yeah, they should have thought, they did think of that. <laughs> they should have thought of that. <laughs> they and they did. Me. Glad they asked me. If it's not impossible, then it surely could. We do that finale every year, and we, we, um, we wait. We kind of wait to see who's still going to be there on Sunday, but we also make inquiries during the weekend to see if someone might want to stay an extra day or you know that kind of thing. So it kind of happens different every time. But there's always a bunch of good. Jim folks Lauderdale around. every year says, "I don't know if I'm yeah, going to be year. around." All he's 40, got to fly back, you know. All eighty he's, times. He's all always times. busy. All forty times. I don't know. I, 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 don't, I have a I don't flight know. early I got, in the I got morning. A, I got to fly it. As, early as Monday don't, morning. Don't I, we'll I don't know if I can do it. I don't know. But, but, we'll we'll see. Doesn't. We'll see. He says. We'll see. <laughs> every single, every single year, <laughs> we got your number. So now when he tells me that, I go, yeah, yeah. See, ya. we'll call you towards the end. <laughs> And because, of course, after that, we all go, have always traditionally gone up to Hoppy Land to have big, these big, wonderful jams that are a very important part of the weekend, actually. Sunday Night Jam, um, Hoppy Land, and cast this, this year was it uh, George and Aldea's up there at their trailer. And um, that's always, I actually look forward to that. Like, you know, the festival's about to end, and you're like, oh, the festival's ending, you kind of get a little sad, but then you're like, nope, still got that jam after the, you know, finale happens, and it's always nice. So that makes me feel, feel good. Uh, people have their different camp areas, and Hoppy Land is uh, some folks, their camp area. Um, and I guess they have a brewery, and they have this, bring this big truck with like six or so spouts on it, with all the different kind of 
beers and it's all labeled and it's just there for you to come and partake and there's always a big fire and everybody gathers and brings their instruments. It's usually a core like Jeb and myself and Jim Lauderdale and, and uh, you know, whoever's around, people join in and it just sometimes it's bigger than others and it's a big party. You know? And this, this year we did it up at our friend George and Aldea's and Verlin Thompson joined Jim and Jeb and I and it was awesome. There's a riding voice Rejoicing in the streets We pray for those Who do the work for peace Can't imagine ever not wanting to go back to the, that park Can't imagine it really, can you? Can't imagine it No No, can't imagine what would have to happen we were there, remember that flood? I mean, we've been through a lot there. Can't imagine you know. Of course, we're supposed to retain some bit of a bargaining position. Oh, right. <laughs> Too late. No. Hey, listen, we went there and played the benefit for the, the folks that were flooded out and, and uh, stuff like that. And we're, we're very much into supporting. We just need to be able to do what we do, too, you know, that's all. Be there, be square. Just a small stone. Retold the story of David and Goliath. We must stand tall. We are together.